Hi everyone, I'm Christine Quintana. Do you know, I had a great childhood when I was a kid. I was born and raised in Cuba, but I also lived in Spain. I remember the good days when I used to get out of kindergarten all the way at night to see the street lights turn on, enjoying the breeze and looking up to the sky and see my mother's chancla fly out of the head <laughs> with a little note saying, you're late, come home. I always thought that my mom created the first GPA chancla edition because no matter where I was, she always found me. It's, it's crazy. No, I me and my friends would basically live on the streets. Every day we'll play all sort of games such as tag. But once in a while we'll get, you know, boring because we'll play the same thing over and over. And one time I went to my dad and asked like, Dad, this game, it's not fun anymore. My friends don't, they don't want to run, they're tired. What should we do? And my dad, like any other parent, would give me a very nice French advice. And he would just hand me a knife and be like, make him run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, those kids, they were running fast, they were running toward like, I had a lot of fun. I believe they had a lot of fun too, I hope. But I had a lot of fun too. You know, as I was growing up, I was able to see two sides of the spectrum. I saw the kids that grew up on the countryside, I also saw the kids that grew up in the city. Countryside kids in Cuba, they're very, very nice people, but they're also very dumb. You, you make them do two plus two and they give you decimals, that's how dumb they are. <laughs> also, you know, Cubans, we love bananas. I love bananas. We all love bananas. And I was one time, we just hand them out to them to eat, and I'm like, you want a banana? You want a banana? And one of them asked me, can I have two, please? I'm like, sure, I would like to. Like, oh, you know, one to eat and one to stick in my But you also, uh, <laughs> we also had a lot of fun on summer days when we used to go to the pool. Oh my God, I was so impressed by the way they would go into that pool. They would get such a run, jump 10 feet up the sky. And we would go head first, we would go front flip, back flip, belly flop. And they would just be down there yelling at me like, come on, Chris, and come on, jump, jump, don't be a pussy, come on, jump, jump. And we just slowly approach the edge. And I would look down and like, it's okay. I'll do it tomorrow once you fill up the pool. <laughs> no. After that, I moved with my parents to Spain. And over there, I was able to see the other side of the spectrum. City kids. I'll tell you right now what city kids spend their free time doing. They don't. They don't have free time. Because now, parents nowadays spend their kids doing so many activities that they just don't have any time to breathe. In time, 10, 9, 8, even 7 year old kids start to smoke so they can go outside to have a break. It's crazy. I would go once in a while to my friend Andrew's house to see if he wanted to go to the park with us and play soccer, but he would never be there. I would talk to his mom and she would say that him and his three brothers are being productive. Like, what do you mean they're being productive? What are they doing? Like, oh, you know, they're following the schedule. And after that, she would sit down with me and she would like read it out how it was. So basically, from 8 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, the kids would be in school. From 2 to 4, the kids would be in the school cafeteria eating lunch. On Tuesday, the kids will have classes of French, Italian, Japanese, and Chinese. Japanese, Japanese and Chinese? Why Japanese and Chinese? Oh, Japanese because they want to watch their anime cartoons, neither stuff or dub. <laughs> and Chinese because we see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday, the kids have contemporaneous wall appreciation class. Contemporaneous wall appreciation class. What is that? I don't even know, but it gives the kids entertained. <laughs> On Wednesday, on Thursdays, these kids have classes of music. They have piano, guitar, violin, and Chinese flute. Chinese flute, because of the Chinese. <laughs> and on Friday, the kids just grab the mountain bike and they just go climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro? So we live in Madrid. Isn't that in Africa? Again, I don't know how the fuck they get over there, but they do. <laughs> and on the weekends, they just sit down and do their homework. Like, oh, that, that sounds pretty good. How, how are they doing? Like, oh, they're doing amazing. Um, one of them died the other week. Uh, the other one is being searched by the FBI and the Interpol. And the third one is not reacting too well to the medication we're giving him. But Andrew's pretty good, he's doing well. He just texted me earlier that he was going to be climbing down the Grand Teton tomorrow night. For those who don't know Spanish, Grand Teton means the Great Tits. So I honestly don't know if Andrew's trying to tell me that he's going to be climbing down a mountain tomorrow night or that he's going to be having the best set of his life climbing down the Grand Teton all the way to the Amazon forest. Thank you so much, I'm <laughs>